Lord, I pray that you will open up our ears, that we may be able to hear what the Spirit says to the church. And God, we come against every demonic spirit that will come to steal, kill, and to destroy. But we thank you, God, because you've given us life and that we may have it more abundantly. So now, Lord, we thank you. We honor you in this place. Yes, God. And God, we believe, God, that you're going to move. Thank you for your glory. Oh, God, these lips of clay decrease that you may increase. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word, God, is forever settled. So, God, I stand on what you have said and what you have given. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. That was good enough for me. I said, let's give God a hand praise. Let's give the Lord a hand praise in here. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. If we couldn't give him praise for nothing else, we can give him praise for life. Yes. We can give him praise for health and strength. We can begin to bless him and thank him for all his many blessings. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. In spite of, he deserved gold. Oh, yes. In spite of, he deserved the praise. Oh, yes. Amen. I like what Paul said, don't let nothing separate you. From the love of God. From the love of God. Amen. And there are so many things that the enemy would want us to be separated from God's love. But amen, we got to keep pushing. The Bible said press. Press. Keep pressing toward the mark of a higher calling. Of a higher calling. Which is in Christ which Jesus. Which is in who? Christ Jesus. There ain't no other way we can get to the Father but That's through it. the press. That's it. Amen. We got to keep pressing. And amen. Keep believing and keep trusting. Amen. And the devil is fighting on every hand. He's not going to stop until the day that Jesus comes back. Amen. But we got to keep on pressing. That's right. Amen. Somebody keep, you know, you ought to say there's a blessing in the press. In the press. Amen. There's a blessing in the pressing. Amen. So we thank the Lord for all have been said and done so far. And I'm just glad to be in the number. Oh, yes. One more time. One more time, because I realize that God loved us so much that he gave us another opportunity to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. And you have to come with expectation. What do you need the Lord to do for you? I know what I need him to do for me today, but I got to keep on pressing. Amen. Amen. We thank God for Jesus. Yes. Amen. Our advocate. Yes. We thank him for being the substitute in our place yes. on that cross called Calvary. Yes. He didn't have to do it. Oh, thank you for doing it. Though. But he did it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Friday night we talked about if it wasn't for his grace, yes. where, where would I be? be? But because of grace and because of the love that he had toward us, he gave his absolute best. Oh, yes. And when he gave Jesus, he gave him for all of us that we may have a right to the tree of life. I don't know about you. I don't choose death today. Oh, yes. But I choose life. Oh, yes. Amen. So we are so thankful to Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, bless him. To our deacons, our officers, Amen. our friends, our mothers, to the Amen. choir ushers, to this congregation today. Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know about you now. This ain't no funeral. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
I, I'm like Jesus. Whatever dead it needs to be buried. You need to be put six feet under. All right. But the Bible says that we should make a joyful. Oh enough. yes, yes. Unto the Lord. Yes. Now, if the Lord ain't done that for you, I'm sorry. Yeah. But because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. My soul loves Jesus. How many souls love him? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. My soul loves him. And when I think about all he has done, my soul begins to cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Somebody ought to say, just look where he brought me from. Look where he's brought me from. Brought me from. Amen. St. Matthew, the 15th chapter. We're going to talk out of St. Matthew, the 15th chapter, just briefly. Amen. St. Matthew, the 15th chapter. Beginning at verse 1. St. Matthew, the 15th chapter. Amen. Everyone there? Amen. Begins by saying, Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, mm -hmm. which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curse father or mother, let him die the death. But you say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Hmm. And honor not his father or his mother. He shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Verse 7, he said, ye hypocrites. Well did Esaias prophecy of you saying, these people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honored me with their lips but their heart is far, far from, from me. me but in the vein they do worship me teaching for doctrines the commandments of men and he called the multitude and said unto them hear and understand not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. That's right. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted mm -hmm. shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Amen. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth? Mm-hmm. In at the mouth goeth into the belly. That's right. And is cast out into the drawth. Mm. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart. And they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulterers, fornications, oh, yes. theft, false witness, mm -hmm. blasphemies. 
These are the things which defile a man. man. That's right. But to eat with unwashing hands defileth not, not a man. That's right. For subject, I want to talk about what's in your heart. Oh, yes. What's in the heart? We're dealing with Jesus as often and a lot of times as he did. Dealt with the religious leaders, Sadducees, Pharisees, scribes, zealots. He dealt with so many opposition on his journey. But one thing about Jesus, he never veered from the truth. That's right. He would always let them know the truth. And set you free. And as we was reading, we can see where the Pharisees challenging Jesus once again. Why aren't your disciples washing their hands? Mm. And it's so sad that we sometimes put tradition before relationship. Wow. Here we're dealing with tradition where the Pharisees saw the importance of washing your physical hands. Washing, they was also used to doing ceremonial things as uh, washing the glass that they drunk out, washing the plate that they ate out of. These were important things because they were keepers of the law. A little bit about the Pharisees. They were a main group of Jewish leaders that believed in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees not only believed in it, but they gave oracle tradition equal authority to the written word of God, meaning not only did they believe the word, but they also wanted to add their own little taste to it. Mm. Now, if you um, understand, you can't add. Mm, you can't take away from the word. you can't take away from the word of God. All right. The word is what it is. That's right. Amen. So they would give oral tradition equal authority to the written word of God. The Pharisees, it says, were mostly middle class businessmen and therefore were in contact with the common man. And the Pharisees. Uh, were held in much higher esteem in the community with the minority. Um, and they also had a, a, a slight position on the Sanhedrin Council, which was made up mostly of the Sadducees, who were upper the class people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it talks about though they were a minority in the Sanhedrin and held minority number of position as priests, they seemed to control the decisions uh, making of the Sanhedrin Council because they had more support from the people. Yeah. And they had, amen, the support. Now these are some of the things they believe. They believe that God controlled all things, yet decisions made by individuals also contributed to the uh, course of a person's life. So not only did they believe the word, but they believed that they can add what they wanted to add to make uh, what they seem like to be better. They believe in the resurrection of the dead. They believe in the afterlife with appropriate reward and punishments on an individual basis. And they believe in the existence of angels and demons. So we're looking at a, a religious group that had some beliefs, but yet and still they didn't believe in Jesus. My God. It said even though the two groups, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, didn't really like each other. But they came together on one account. Mm -hmm. And right. that's when it was time to put Jesus on trial. Yeah. That means they laid aside all their differences uh -huh. and what they believed just so they can get at Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Now if we look back at the, at the word it says we see how um, Jesus answered them and told them he said, for God commanded you that you should obey your father and your mother. And the, and the one that cursed his father and mother put him to death. That was according to the, the law. But you going to say, whosoever shall save his father and his mother, it is a gift. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. So long as I'm helping you, long as I'm doing for you, I don't fall up under that law. 
Do you not know we can't make the word fit us? That's right. We can't make this word uh, do what we want to do, but we have to fall in line with the word of God. That's right. So Jesus will remind them of what's supposed to happen when you disobey your mother and father. But just because, you know, we want to lean to our own understanding mm -hmm. and we want to do things our way, we can always make up a scripture. All right. But does it mean what you say it means? All right. So here they making up something that is not even biblical. And the Bible said these people, he said in verse 8, draw nigh. Let's go back to verse 7. I want to deal with this. He said, you hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Well did a size prophesy of you. It already been spoken about you. What is a hypocrite? A pretender. Mm -hmm. Dissembler, deceiver, a liar, a pretest. A sanctimonious person. I like this one. It said a plaster saint. Yeah. A person who makes a show of being without moral faults or human weaknesses, especially in a, a hypocritical way. Yeah. This is a person who loves to say, do as I say. Not as I do. And not as I do. Have mercy. Have mercy. But I come to tell you, James 1 and 22 said that you can't just be a hearer of the word but also do but we gotta be doers of the word that's right because just hearing it ain't good enough to hear and to do mean we must obey the word of god oh yes because after all god's word is holy yeah. Yeah. so we can't just say do as i say and not as i do because god is holding us responsible that's right for what we do that's right and the thing is, a lot of us, we want to pass the buck. We want to, we don't want to live right. We don't want to do what's right. The Bible says we are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. What good is the light if you put your light up on the bush? bush. That's right. See, some of us, we holy on Sunday, but Monday through Saturday, oh. we rain in the hell. Oh, God. My God. But God wants us to not only be hearers, but doers of the word. Look at what Jesus said. He said, "You go. these people draw now to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. It's far from me. But in the vein, they do worship me. See, Timothy talked about in the last days there was going to be a form of godliness. But deny but the, power of. the power thereof. And we're dealing with the same situation today. There are people, they are saying one thing with their mouth. But your lifestyle is not backing up what you're talking about. All right, all right. I don't care what nobody's saying. I don't care what church or what name over your church. The Bible says we got to be holy. That's right. For he is holy. That's right. That's and right. that ain't going to change, saints. That's right. So the thing is, he said, your heart is far from me. He said, you worship me, uh, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Rather you obey, you'd rather make up some stuff. Wow. You'd rather come up with your own doctrine to tell people how they should live. Yeah. And then the sad thing about it, you can tell them what they're supposed to do, and you can't even do it. My God, my God, my God. Then the disciples came to him and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended? Mm. I love Jesus because he don't care about offending your religion. All right, all right. After they heard this saying, but he answered and said, Look at this, this is important. Every plant mm -hmm. which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. All right. That's it. That's Who the word. That? Jesus. 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 <laughs> I like what John said. If you abide in me. And my word abide in huh? And I abide in you. Mm -hmm. Then you can ask what you will. Yeah. And shall we get See, it? a lot of things going to be rooted up because we ain't abide. That's right. We're not in God. We're not in Jesus. That's right. See, everything that is moving in the church ain't moving always by moving the power by the power of God. God. Thank you. Thank you, everything Lord. that's singing, everything that's preaching, everything that's testifying, everything that's praying is always not moving by, by the power, power of, God. of God. That's right. So if it ain't been planted by the Father, it shall up. be rooted up. 
That's right. Let them alone, Jesus said. They be blind leaders mm -hmm. of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both of them gonna fall mm. into the what? Into, into the, the dish. dish. Then answer Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. Tell us. Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye understand that whatsoever entereth into your mouth goeth into the belly and is cat out, cast out in the drawer. Do we understand that, right? Man. Whatever you eat, somewhere during the day or the week, you go into the bathroom. Amen. Huh? Because it ain't going to stay in you. Amen. But check this out. He said, but those things which proceed out of your mouth mm -hmm. comes from the heart and they defile the man's soul. It don't matter what you eat. See, tradition through the Pharisees, they was even forbidding to eat certain things that was clean and unclean. And unclean. Right? That's right. But Jesus let them know. See, y'all want to stick to the traditions and try to hold people to how they should wash and how they should do certain things according to the law. But he said, that ain't what's going to defile you. That ain't what's going to make you unclean. That ain't what's going to make you dirty. What's going to make you dirty is what's in your head. That's right. That's right. And coming out your and mouth. coming out your mouth. Because what come out your mouth is this. He said, well, those things will proceed out of the mouth, come from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart so the mouth proceed eat. evil thoughts. Oh, what do my thoughts God. come from? Mm, Thoughts God. come from your brain. All right. All right. So before we speak something, we should think about it. That's right. Because you can't tell me you said it and you didn't mean it. All right. Because if it come out of your heart, your mouth will stay. That means it was in there all along. That's the right. That's right. So he said, for out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts. Look at this. Murders. Mm -hmm. Adulteries. Mm -hmm. Fornications. Mm -hmm. Thefts. Mm -hmm. False witnesses. Blasphemies. Yes. These are the things which defile a man. That's right. But to eat with unwashed hands, that ain't what it's all about today. That's right. Today it's about what's in our heart. That's right. And that's why God said, what's in us? Yes. What, what's down on the inside of us that makes us say and do the things that we do? Yeah. That's right. When we say we're born again, the word says, any man be in Christ. Oh yes, he's a new creature. He is a new creature. Old things and behold all things are what? Become new. Turn to Matthew 12 real quick. Because you know what? Sometimes we think we know. But I want to show you through scripture every one of us got to clean up. That's right. Well, That's right. That's right. Huh? And the only way we're going to be clean is through this word. That's right. Amen. Through the word. Matthew chapter 12. Verse number 30. I'm going to start at verse number 34. Old generation. Talking to the Pharisees of vipers, how can you be evil speak what? How can you be evil and speak good things? It's hard to be evil and speak good. All right, all right. Huh? Let's go on because it says, for out of the abundance of the what? Heart. Out of the abundance of your heart, the what going to speak? The mouth. That's the word. Whatever in your heart going to come up. You can't keep evil. If evil's in you, 
It's Even coming out. Come up out of you. That's just it. That's just it. Look at this. Verse 35. A good man mm -hmm. out of the good treasure or it says the good man out of the Amplified says the good man from his inner good treasure brings forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringing forth evil, evil things. things. But look what Jesus continued to say, but I say unto you that every idle word oh, yes. that men shall speak. They shall what? Give an account. Thereof in the day. That's the word. That's coming a time everything we don't say. I don't care if you say it or not, we still gotta give an account. That's right. That's right. Every word that we say that comes up out our mouth, that comes out our thoughts, that comes out our heart, is gonna be judged. That's right. It says, for by thy words, thou shalt be justified. Mm -hmm. And by thy words. So today, what am I saying? Whatever's in your heart, that's what's going to cause you to be able to enter into the kingdom. That's right. Or it's going to cause you to be condemned to everlasting hell. Father. Oh, yes. Because whatever is in us. It's coming out. If love is in you, love is going to come out. <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to go up a little bit. Verse 33. Either make the tree good mm. and its fruit good mm -hmm. or else make the tree corrupt yes. and its tree and its fruit corrupt. Uh -huh. For the tree is known by what? The fruit it bears. You That's can't it. tell me you love me. Yes, sir. All right, Pastor. You can't say you love nobody, but you yet. All right. Put them down. Uh -huh. You can't do it. <laughs> if you're a corrupt tree, be a corrupt. I can respect you That's more right. than a bad That's right. tree than you being a pretender. That's it. That's it. Be who you are. Yes. Take the mask off. That's right. Be real. That's right. If you hateful, be hateful. That's right. You can't tell me you are apple tree and not grapes. All right. <laughs> That's it. Huh? You can't tell me that you are a fig tree and ain't no figs on it. All right. Jesus cursed it. <laughs> you got to bear fruit. That's, That's right. right. Now the fruits are in Galatians 5. All right. He began to talk about their fruit of the flesh mm -hmm. and their fruit of, the of the spirit. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not a judge, but I show sure am a fruit inspector. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> no, I ain't going to judge you because I don't have the power to put nobody nowhere. That's right. But Jesus just said, you know the truth. By the fruit of bear. So look at somebody yeah. say, I'm looking at you. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm looking because if you tell me that you are a, a, a tree that has full of righteousness, I should see righteousness coming from that tree. Oh, yes. I shouldn't see hatred, envy, strife, sedition, lying, cheating, backbiting. I shouldn't see these type things coming from a tree when you say I am a child of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You just like them Pharisees. Preacher, Pastor. Break it down, Pastor. You want a whole other people. Yes, sir. To doing what you don't want to do. All right. You want to tell somebody. How they supposed to live. Yeah. And you can't even walk the walk. My God. But I like this, and I'm getting ready to hush and get out your way. Take your Psalms time. Psalms 51, I love it. Yeah. Psalms 51. Because just like David, I want to be clean. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, God. Just like David, 
after he was called out. Somebody said he was called out. He was called out. See, he thought he had got by. Mm -hmm. But God always got his eyes oh, yes. in place. And he said he's beholding the evil and the good. As well as so the I good. I don't care what you say today. You may think you're getting by. But God got his eyes on you. Oh, he, yes. He's looking at you. And, and believe me, one day he's going to judge us. But we can be just like David in Psalms 51. Psalms 51, it says to the chief musician, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet mm -hmm. came unto him. And told him. After he had gone. <laughs> Yes. To Bathsheba. Oh, yes. Y'all know the story. Yes. He saw her standing. He looked on her. He, he wanted her. Lust brought forth sin. That's right. Sin brought forth Fourth spirit. Oh, death. yes. Simply because he couldn't control his desire. Oh, yes. Now, look what happened, though, after God spoke to Nathan. And Nathan came to him. And this is what was said. How? Mm. No, that's it. That's it. That. That's it. That's it. That's what we that's want it. the Lord to do. Have mercy. We need the Lord to have mercy. Oh yes. Upon me, yes. oh God, according to Thy loving love kindness. and kindness, according to the multitude of Thy tender mm -hmm. mercies. Look at this. He said, "Blot out my transgressions." My transgressions. Oh, thank Can you, I Lord. Can I tell you, some of us got many transgressions. Oh, oh we done you, done Jesus. so many things to cross the line. We done done so many things to offend God. Thank but you, he Jesus. told him, blot them out for my sake, Please, Lord. God. Please, God. Wash me. Please, Lord. Thoroughly from my iniquity. Please, God. And cleanse me from my sin. My sin. He said, look at this now. This is somebody that is, is taking accountability for their actions. He said, for I acknowledge. Yes. My transgressions. Oh, yes. Can we please quit blaming somebody else for our failures? Can we please quit telling um, other people that it was such and so and so and this the one did it to me? When you need to look at your own self, yes. stand in the mirror sometimes and begin to examine yourself and look at your nasty self and say, What's going on? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I need you, Lord. Oh, yes. To cleanse me. Yes. From the inside. Please, God. Out. He said, against thee. Yes. Have I seen? The only. <laughs> have I seen? That's the word. <laughs> and done this evil in thy Jesus. sight. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Yes. He telling him, Lord. Before I can tell somebody else. All right. Before I can let somebody else know they're wrong. I'm asking you to search my heart. Search my heart. Look at me, God, because right now I done messed up. And it was before you. Oh, thank oh, you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Thank you, God. God is getting fed Jesus. Up. My God.